I'm very proud of my career and I really enjoy it. Uh, the places I've been to, the things I've been through, um, that's just memories for life. And um, knowing that there's still uh, so much left in me and I can still grow as a person, uh, that's what keeps me motivated. And I just want to keep winning prizes. <laughs> that's what I like. <laughs> Well, actually my brother and sister did. I'm the youngest of three and they played hockey. So I was uh, the youngest at home and I wanted to do everything they did. So that's why I wanted to play hockey as well. I've had a lot of coaches in my career and I think they all had an influence on my career in their own way. But uh, the biggest influence on my career will be my mom and dad. They drove me to the bus when I was a young girl and they're always there to support me. They, they fly over the whole world to see the games and I think I can count on two hands the games they have missed. Um, so that definitely will be my mom and dad. My playing style or attitude on the pitch in one word will be stubborn. Um, I always try to do what people don't expect. Uh, that's where my creativity comes from and I don't really like when people tell me exactly what to do. I want to be creative and do whatever I feel at that moment. The moment on pitch I'm most proud of is quite hard to say. Um, of course I'm really proud on the medals we have won, but I think uh, you feel the most proud when you walk out on the pitch and you know you're ready for it and you're about to sing a national anthem and you hear it all around you, the crowd singing it with you. That makes me feel really, really proud. And also, if I think about the games that we really had to work hard for it and really had to battle, uh, those games make you feel really, really proud. Like, uh, for example, the quarterfinal against Argentina in the Rio Olympics. Um, I think at the time we were only left with eight girls on the pitch and we really had to battle for the win and uh, we managed to get the win so that made me feel really proud. My advice for young players will be have fun, enjoy what you're doing, practice a lot whenever you can, in the garden, outside, go with your friends to the pitch, but most important is enjoy it, enjoy what you are doing. To the COVID-19, our competition has been cancelled. So in the beginning, we had a running schedule, uh, which we could do from home and uh, at home gym workout. So you did that in the living room or in the garden or nearby your house. And since a couple of weeks we're training again, uh, we felt really good to stand on the pitch again. We really enjoy it. We do have to get to use the 1.5 meters sometimes, uh, but hopefully we can go to a uh, game soon again. Uh, that would be really nice. And um, we train at this time about three or four times with the national team and one time with the club. Being part of this group is really, really special. Um, I think we've been on the top of the world for the last 10 years, maybe, um, which is really amazing. And uh, even though big names stop, the talent keeps coming and that's really amazing to see. So I think, you know, if the older ones are going to stop again, I think the young girls are really ready to take their place and be on the top of the world for the next couple of years. Okay, they go for the shots. How are you going to stop that?